Hey guys, before I get into the video, I wanted to thank you all for over 1.3k subscribers, all the birthday wishes, and for all the support uh, the, my last couple of videos got. Seeing such a positive response and reception of these videos that I spent a good amount of time working on it really makes me happy and is pretty encouraging. So thank you again. And now it's time for the third episode of my Dragon Ball Death Battle Review series. Kirby vs. Majin Buu. This one was kind of trickier uh, for me to review because I have literally zero experience with Kirby as a series, so I was in absolute shock uh, to find out about all this apocalyptic lore and all this cosmic love crafty, crafty and lore this the series has. <laughs> I legit did not know Kirby was busted like this. Literally having a dimension inside his body and being able to throw something straight from a planet to the star and back. Crazy. Pretty freaking strong and way more than I expected, so I can just take their word for what they say regarding him. If anyone in the comments has any issues with their Kirby information, please go ahead and let me know because I am not going to know myself. Um, like the previous videos, this matchup is based around a theme that the two characters have. With Kirby uh, and Boo both being pink blobs with childish appearances who have both tremendous power and appetites with the ability to eat and absorb other beings. And as I mentioned before, I'm not experienced with Kirby, so I can't say whether or not this is a legacy matchup like I did with Vegeta vs. Shadow and Goku vs. Superman. So, plus this video is also 10 years old. Anyone who was in the community at the time or in the Kirby circle who knows about this stuff... Uh, please leave me a comment if you know how, if this video is anywhere near those levels. I, it probably isn't, because otherwise I would know, but if it was, please let me know. I, I genuinely want to know. And regarding Boo and their synopsis of him, because I can't judge what they say about Kirby, I think they do a nice job covering all the details regarding him and all of his abilities. I especially like how they point out the origin of his name pun. Bibbity, bobbity, and Boo. Put them together and what do you get? A Disney lawsuit. And honestly, that's all I really got for the synopsis of it. Things were pretty simple and straightforward, and I think they did a nice job covering everything. And then they move on to a little short skit they did um, with a partnership they did with Funimation, announcing these pop figures of the new, the then new Super Saiyan God Goku figures. You know, because Battle of Gods had just come out the year prior to this episode. And they, they brought in Masako X to do this little skit with Ben Singer where he plays a Goku uh, pop that's haunting Ben Singer over the results of Goku vs. Superman, making a joke that the god form would beat Superman up because, and he mentions the comments, referencing the very negative reaction that Goku losing to Superman had during that video, and then they play it off like it, uh, as a parody of the one scene from Toy Story where Woody and the other toys haunt Sid. For, you know, blowing them up and torturing them. So that, that was pretty funny. And they, this, these figures were apparently like exclusive to Funimation. Um, I haven't tried to buy any of these things, but I'm pretty sure now this was 10 years ago. You can still buy, you can buy these figures from somewhere else. But uh, now on to the fight itself. The fight comes up with uh, Boo turning a bunch of random creatures from Kirby's world into candy. But before he can eat them, Kirby beats him to the punch. And then they start throwing some hands, and because Boo's mad that he took his food. A couple punches and blasts get thrown, and then Kirby gets knocked to the ground and just eats this little random guy with a hammer standing right next to him to absorb his stuff. If that guy has a name in the games, you can tell me in the comments, because I don't know. Uh, this next little section of the fight with the hammer reminds me a lot of a lot of Smash Bros. matches that I've had, especially ones with, you know, Kirby in them. And so that's really nice, and I really like the little, all the cutesy, silly vibes this fight has, and, and a lot of the sounds and expressions Kirby is making. Boo then knocks the hammer out from Kirby and throws him, throws him around. And then Kirby just absorbs a guy with a sword, which cuts Boo right in half, but Boo regenerates and absorbs another guy with the sword, and they do a little duel with the swords. Boo loses the duel, but like before, the sequence of Kirby's attacks feels straight out of Smash Bros, which is a nice uh, aspect of it. And then Boo just gets eaten by Kirby, which traps him inside this stomach dimension Kirby has, and which pisses Boo off, and this causes him to release Kid Boo, who proceeds to kill him and break out of the dimension himself, like, uh, like Super Boo did in the time chamber. And then he starts to beat Kirby up for a bit, 
But then Kirby absorbs this other guy, and then he proceeds to get into another Smash Bros. style duel until Boo gets the upper hand and sends Kirby flying. Then, then Kirby picks up this little star wand, and that lets him get the upper hand against Boo for a bit until it gets destroyed. After that, Boo just tries to blow up the planet, but deep inside, Kirby has some kind of power-up that allows him to force Boo's blast right back at him, which sends him into the sun disintegrating him. So Kirby ends up winning the fight, and honestly, like, um, I don't have much to say because I legit do not know anything about Kirby, and which you can really see throughout this video because I don't even know a lot of the NPCs' names, which if you, like I said, you can leave a comment informing me down below. Uh, and honestly, my only real issue with this f after fight synopsis is that they mention Boo has never had to combat faster than light uh, during a fight, because dra which doesn't make sense to me because. Dragon Ball characters have been past light speed for a good long while before this video came out, so I don't really get that part. Um, but beyond that, I did enjoy the fight. I, I thought Kirby's and expressions and sounds were were so cute and silly. I liked them. It made it enjoyable, and I'm in absolute awe seeing how strong he is. But beyond that, I don't have much to say since I'm not into Kirby. And I'm sorry if this video comes off a little less enthusiastic, but like I said, I don't know Kirby, and there's only so much I can say, since I won't lie and pretend I'm, I'm into it or I'm familiar with it, like I was with the previous two matchups. And honestly, that's all I have to say on this episode. The next episode up for review, the infamous Goku vs. Superman 2, which I can already tell you, I'm gonna have some more things to say about there. But that's for later. Thanks for watching, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.